Hey there, ONU sports fans. Thanks for watching this week's Ch Chilling with a Polar Bear. This week we have senior wrestler Kyle Quite. Thanks for joining us, Kyle. All right, so why did you choose ONU? Um, you know, I went to a, a couple of schools, and, uh, you know, this place just provided kind of the atmosphere that I was looking for. Um, the coaching staff was, you know, just what I just what I wanted, and they had, you know, somebody near my weight who could really push me, and Luke Miller, when I first got here. Um, so I, I knew I could learn a lot from him, and uh, it just, everything fit. It was great. All right, so when did you start wrestling? Um, I started wrestling in the uh, fifth grade. It's actually kind of later, later for, for a lot of wrestlers. Um, I moved here from uh, Michigan, and a friend introduced me, and, you know, I just kind of took to it really and uh, from there, everything's kind of fell into place, you know. All right. So when did you realize that you could compete at the collegiate level? Um, probably, I, I never really thought about competing at the collegiate level in high, in high school until maybe my junior, senior year. I definitely, you know, made the decision that I wanted to wrestle instead of play football because football was, was my other sport that I, I um, really enjoyed doing as I was you know, progressing through my high school career, uh, placing at state and stuff and so on like that, that definitely got me looking towards college and seeing where, where I could wrestle in college. All right, so you're an exercise physiology major. How does being ex-phys contribute to your athletics? Um, it definitely helps me know when I'm you know, just sore, and when I'm injured, you know, I kind of can it can tell a little better when I, when uh, something's wrong with my body versus versus when it's just you know normal rigors of practice and stuff like that. So that that's definitely one of the aspects that it probably helps me with. All right. So how do you balance athletics and academics? Um, you know, making sure you get done with uh, schoolwork before beforehand, and uh, just uh, try not to fall behind, especially on long trips. So books come with you on, on the bus and stuff like that. It's kind of hard sometimes to study on the bus, it's, but uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta make do, you gotta, you gotta get it done, so you gotta definitely pay attention in class and make sure you give your sport a good reputation in the classroom. Definitely. All right, so you've balanced pretty well. Um, so far in your career, you have a record of 154 and 16, 55 tech falls, 24 of them this season alone and 39 pins. That's pretty impressive to say the least. Also, you've been a 10-time OAC Wrestler of the Week, a four-time conference champion, two-time All-American, the D3 Wrestle.com Freshman of the Year, um, and a two-time OAC Wrestler of the Year. What is the key to your success? Um, I would have to say that, you know, just determination, just knowing that you, knowing that you can do whatever you set your mind to, you know. A lot of kids say that kind of stuff, but it's a lot about determination. Most, mostly it's mental, you know, just go out there. You just got to know that, you know, I'm going to win and I'm not going to give take take losses. You know, Beachler, my coach, always tells me that um, I hate losing more than I love winning. So <laughs> maybe that maybe that has part of to do with it. So you're leaving for Nationals tomorrow. Um, what have you been doing to prepare? Just going about it as, a, as if it were a normal meet, you know, just... That's, made, that's one of the big things about nationals is you get there and you just kind of, a lot of kids get just kind of shocked by the, you know, the hugeness of the, the whole event. And you just can't get sucked in by, by the pageantry. You just got to go in there and just wrestle like you would a normal event. And I feel like that kind of is one of the things that gives me a, a, an edge against a lot of kids because they go into the national tournament and kind of, you know, clam up and don't wrestle the way they normally would in a normal tournament and if I just go out there and wrestle wrestle my match I think I have a better chance of winning all right so how how well do you think you're going to do I think I'm going to win I think I can right. I think I can. confidence is a good thing so what kind of legacy do you want to leave uh, for Ohio Northern Wrestling um as far as the legacy I I'd like to leave behind you know a legacy of success and obviously uh, we had you know, some, some great seasons while I was here. We had some undefeated in the OAC dual seasons and, and so on. But, uh, you know, I, I, I mainly the thing I probably would want to leave behind is, is that we're, uh, we have good sportsmanship because, you know, we see a lot of teams that, uh, you know, throw fits after they lose and, and you know, like are, are, are just 
are not good on like are not good sportsmen on the mat. They they you know are throwing punches or they're pushing people around. And, and you know I just want I want to make sure that you know our guys know that that's not uh, not okay to do. One for one part, and then you know just just go out there and dominate a kid and. You know, and with dominate a kid without doing that kind of stuff mm -hmm. shows that you're you're truly the better athlete to me. All right, well, good luck this week and in your career, uh, and thank you for watching ONU Sports fans. I'm Jake Schwer for ONUSports.com.